Hi, this is Gangsa. I just developed my online bookstore homepage for server and client side. I use PHP with Code Igniter to apply MVC um, developing model and jQuery, MySQL, HTML, and JavaScript, and that stuff. So let me start with the login process. So I can type any information. So randomly and try. Oh, because the the information is not stored in my MySQL database, so it redirects the page to the login page. So let me check any idea, any some idea and password to the login here. Yeah. It dis it displays the error message here. So let me make let me make a new user account. So create a new user here. User ID can be a new user test. Uh, password is one two three four one two three four. First name yeah auto. So auto filling is here. So if I miss some information here, then it displays some error message. And as you can see, the zip code it should be five digit. So it also displays the error for zip code. So let me check here. Uh, one two three four. One two three four. First name is Okay. So confirm here. Okay, you can see the current user and his order is three. Uh, some logo button and some edit button. So at the first time you saw that that was create new user. However, uh, after login, then it displays the modified user information. Um, the Homepage the server detects whether the user the current user is logged in with the uh, the some correct user ID or not. If not uh, if not then it's uh, it displays the create user information some display box. So um, the server can dis can distinguish it with the session ID. So let me check again. And it displays the whole products here at the first time. Um, those informations are in the MySQL database, so it can it has its own categories: uh, textbook, literature, religion, science, travel, cooking, and some products have some special products events. So it means if uh, the products the price has some discount price uh, with some specific duration. So uh, we can check our categories. Yeah. Special sales, only special sales, textbook, literature, religion, science, travel, cooking. So by clicking the categories, uh, it displays the categorized produce not only for um, special products but also some common products here uh, let me buy some cooking goods uh, here so sounds good cooking okay. so, so if I add cart then it is quite some summary of the uh, the shopping cart like quality is for price is 30 and the total price here. Uh, let me buy another book. So, science. Science, the definitive visual guide. So, it is the special product. So, it discounts 5.5 percent, and the discounted price is here. So, let me buy here. So, displays the uh, applied price and quality. And 
total price is here. So let me check out. Then previously, um, I uh, added the book here, and the second one is here. So I can also type billing address and shipping address separately. So California and California. Okay, let me confirm the transaction. Confirm that. Okay, it displays the um, the current payment, and if I click here, oh, it displays smoothly with jQuery, and it displays the shipping address. Um, okay, and some of the list of products. Uh, let me buy others. Okay, um, I can buy craft and voice uh, at a cart. Um, so this one, the same way as the previous one. So, okay. uh, check out. So, okay, it's just different, different color list. So, oh, okay. So if you if you want to change the uh, the shopping cart, then you can push this click the shopping cart button so okay it displays the list of what I added uh, you can change it and it displays automatically the change price and uh, if you want to delete one of the list then okay delete and you can click confirm button here so confirm oh it disappears actually it removes from shopping cart database so let me check out. Okay, this time it displays only this craft and voice uh, information at the book. So yeah, it adjusted and confirmed. Okay, it displays only one book and it displays also uh, total price and order date. Okay, if I click order history, then yeah, I can see the history of what I bought, what I had bought. Okay. Also I can log out. And I um I made some um I make it possible to do the process without login. So be right before checking out um the user should log in. Um, let me start the from the scratch here. So cooking for grid here a uh, cart. Okay, it is successfully added to the cart. Mm, check out. Okay, new user. Okay, so check out. As you can see, this. The information, uh, the checking out information should be uh, the checking out information should should be uh, processed pro uh, processed right after the login. So if the user doesn't log in, then yeah, he cannot uh, purchase. He cannot check out the products. So okay, I can change color. And check out, confirm, and check out. So you, you can see the quality is changing here. Okay, California. Okay, let me see. Confirm. Uh, the current, at the first time, it displays only the current payment. But um, if you click order history, then it displays the whole information which you bought so yeah that's all thank you very much